social media influencer stalked and harassed three Premier League footballers, a court has heard. 21-year-old Orla Sloan is alleged to have sent dozens of messages to Chelsea midfielder Mason Mount, his teammate Ben Chilwell and ex-teammate Billy Gilmore, as well as calling them on a number of occasions. The court heard that Mount and Sloan met at a house party at Chilwell's address in 2020. The prosecutor said the pair stayed in contact for around six months before Mount decided that the relationship was not going to progress. It's claimed Orla Sloan used 21 different phone numbers to contact Mount. She is even said to have falsely claimed she was pregnant with Billy Gilmore's child. Gilmore said, I have not been able to sleep and have had to take sleeping tablets. It's had a negative effect on my performance and my professional life. Mount was concerned she had an obsession or fixation with him and he didn't know what she was capable of. Chilwell described Sloane's behaviour as erratic whilst Gilmore admitted the messages had a huge impact on his life. She has pled guilty to stalking Gilmore causing serious alarm or distress, to stalking Mount and to harassing Chilwell. She has been released on bail ahead of her sentencing where she faces time behind bars. I need people to understand that these modern females, these modern women, they do everything to get into a certain circle or to get a certain guy's attention. It's something they work on every day. These females, they do everything they can to get what they want. And when when you really see it, you'll understand the parties they go to, the pictures they put on their Instagram, the videos they do on TikTok, it's not random. It's not because I feel cute today. It's not because I had a fun day at a party. No, they're actively seeking men, men who are above their leagues. It's like they're looking for the next guy to hook. And sadly, nothing hooks men more than sex. And she achieved that. But what she wasn't ready for was the abrupt end. This is where the crazy stalker came out. Because she finally got probably three best guys she ever got in her roster. She finally got three best guys she's ever had even be on her radar and she wasn't willing to let that go see she did everything that she could to get there she did everything she could to even be at that party listen females they do the most to be at a certain place find a certain guy it's easy to be sexually appealing yes and that's the thing it's easy to do certain things but it's still work. It's work to dress a certain way, act a certain way, and get all the practice so you can get the next guy you want to get. All of that, it's work in their own way. And she put in the work and she wasn't willing to let go of that paycheck that she got. And that's what got into her head. She finally got where she wanted to get. She would have been boasting about these footballers to all her friends. She thought she had some type of chance with them. She thought she was the it girl. She thought she was the baddie. They probably just hit it and quit it. So she didn't even, it didn't even end like pleasantly for her. Don't even sound like they took her shopping or they had some situation. It really just sounds like they banged, they met and that was it. Nothing more happened. And that type of abrupt ending, I think it made her angry, it made her upset, it made her see herself for what she is, and it's the validation. She needed to seek validation that, you know what, you want me. I want you, this can't end like this. Because when things end a certain way, it really just clarifies to the female that whatever you did, it didn't, it wasn't right. It wasn't a good idea. It wasn't smart. You got rejected. And this is the thing. Females can't live with that reality. Females can't take rejection. They can't take rejection from men they did everything for. In every type of term. They, These females, they sexually objectify themselves. Just to get a certain man's attention. So every girl you see out there doing that is to get a certain man's attention. Every picture you see out there is to get a certain man's attention. And this is the female that just couldn't let go of those certain men. So she just stalked them 
and hoping that they will come back for the coochie when really it goes straight into prison. It's interesting to hear this story because all females are just like this female but she crossed the line by stalking them excessively to the point that it made them uncomfortable and it made them perform worse but the truth is a lot of these females if they had the chance to be in the same boat that she was in they would have taken it they would have taken every opportunity this female took and the difference is they might have reacted differently or maybe they would have had a different tactic to try and get the men to come back in their life the difference is this one she's just a bit more loopier than the rest of the females that's it let me know what you think thank you for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye